Now I'm about to show you the testing procedure for a Hitachi three wire coil on plug style ignition coil. Of course it's super important to make sure that you have a correct wiring diagram and you can identify which terminal belongs to what. In this case I just use this as a training aid so you can see I've clearly identified each terminal and what that terminal is used for. After that the hookup's pretty simple. Just by adding a random spark plug as well as a good quality earth lead going off to the negative side of your battery, you're ready for testing. In the case of this specific Hitachi coil on plug ignition coil, number one is our power, that goes directly to 12 volts. Number three is our ground wire, that goes directly to a ground. And as you can see, I'm just using a simple battery here. Any battery will do, as long as it's 12 volts, of course. And finally, our trigger wire is simply triggered by the positive side of the battery. You're probably thinking to yourself, hang on a sec, aren't ignition coils triggered on the negative side? And yes, you'd be correct. But what we're looking at right now is an N-channel MOSFET. Now this guy has a ground at the source already waiting there, and it's triggered on the gate by a small positive voltage. Therefore, the ground will go from the source through to the drain onto the negative side of our ignition coil. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. You can clearly see the MOSFET is attached to the head of the ignition coil. I've ground this one down just to make it easier for you to see. So yes, the ignition coil is triggered on the negative side via an N-channel MOSFET. A very simple test with very limited tools. So remember, this is not being tested under load. It's simply being tested to see if the ignition coil will fire at all. Here's a quick method for testing three-wire ignition coils. I haven't looked at a wiring diagram. I don't believe I need to. Let's have a look at the wires that are actually on the ignition coils themselves. If we look at all the coils, there's only one wire that's different on each coil. Here we have, what's that, a black white and a black, and a blue red, a black white, a black, and a white blue, and finally a black white black and sort of a pinky looking colour. So clearly these ones over here are our trigger wires. And they're the ones that I'm going to trigger right now. I'll show you how to do it, very easy. Get a dressmaking pin, back probe the trigger wire, not those other two wires. Those other two wires would be a positive and a negative. This is our trigger wire, okay? I've got an incandescent test light and the clamp is actually on the positive side of the battery. The ignition is turned to the on position and simply all I'm gonna get is my test light, probe and just touch it against that trigger wire. Have a listen. You see the spark? Pretty simple test, isn't it? So I know that my coil's okay. I also don't have to check for my 12 volts in the earth at the coil, because otherwise I wouldn't be getting an output out of the coil. I'm on a three wire coil over plug ignition coil, and I'm working on my primary current over here, and this is my trigger wire out the back. Let's have a look at the pattern on the oscilloscope. The ignition coil is getting charged up at this point. Saturation takes place. And once it gets triggered, this, this five volts gets pulled down to earth. That's when the spark occurs because the coil is now in an open circuit condition. That's when you get your mutual induction take place. And of course, our high voltage that goes off to the spark plug. Three wire, quite simple to see on the oscilloscope. 